welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are subscribed, for those who are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mariana, and today we're going to be talking about the Hairgrowth Lab Module 2, Lesson 1. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I've learned. Um, I'm talking about the unique hair care profile. We're going to be understanding genetics, and that means we have more control over them, and knowledge equals power. Different hair compositions equals different solutions. Compatible or incompatible with different compounds and ingredients. The issue with a lot of hair care advice on the internet is that it's very subjective. People share what has worked for them, but they don't know if it has worked for you. You must know your hair genetics profile to be able to pick the right treatment and practices. The biggest hair care mistake is not building a routine based on your specific circumstances due to the lack of hair care knowledge. Knowing your genetics plus knowing your hair care profile equals make or break your routine. Everyone's optimal hair care routine will look different. It's not about how much you spend or if it's organic or not. It's not about if a professional applied it to you. It's pretty much about knowing your hair and picking the right practices and products for it. A myth is that your genetics determine how long your hair can grow. The truth is that you have a lot of control over how long your hair grows. However, your genetics determine your default hair growth cycle. The hair growth cycle, there's three phases, agon phase, catagen phase, and telogen phase. Um, it's where the hair is attached to the nutrient source and flow of nutrients from scalp to help it grow, followed by the canning phase, detached from nutrient source, and then enters telogen phase. Genetics will determine how long your default cycle is. For example, four years for some people. Genetically, four years and falls out. It can be 10 years before hair stops and falls out. However, this doesn't mean if you have a genetically short cycle that you cannot grow your hair super long that's because even though your genetics will determine your default cycle, your hair care practices increase or decrease the cycle. You have more control than you think um, of those products, of those practices. How do you overwrite your genetics? Length of each phase. Anakin phase, there's three to seven years. It's the growth phase of your hair. Kanagan phase is two to three weeks. Telgen phase, two to four months. Length of each phase with good hair care practices. Um, Anagen phase, seven years, it's the growth phase of your hair. And then Kanagen, two to three weeks, and then Telogen, two to four months. Length of each phase with poor hair care practices. Anagen, three years, and then um, that's the growth phase of your hair. Kanagen, two to three weeks, and then Telogen, two to four months. One year, your practices lengthen or shorten the cycle. Bad practices affect Anagen phase the most. Another example, poor stress management during finals, high stress, and shortens the anagen phase, excessive hair fall, and slow hair growth during the period of life. So how long does your so how long is my hair growth cycle? Hair falls out differently at different rates, could be anything, so it's hard to determine. De de determining your hair growth cycle length is very difficult. Luckily it's not important how we know how long our cycle is. It's What's important is we know how to extend it. Okay, so now this is module two, lesson two. We're talking about hair density, the number, and that's the number of strands on your head. Genetic, genetics will affect hair care practices and can set the number of, increase the number of hair and hair follicles, which is in the anagen phase, the phase where your hair grows. Nothing you can do can increase the number of follicles on your head. Not, not all follicles have a hair growing in it at all times. Some follicles have a, a hair that's actually growing in it, and some follicles have a head that is resting or, or, do, or dominant. Okay, not all follicles are in the same phase at the same time. Hair care practices will increase the number of hair in the anagen phase, which makes your hair denser. Um, Okay, and then 
Okay, and more follicles in the anagen phase, more strands growing, denser here. Anagen phase, plus, plus, plus follicles into the telogen phase. Percentage of hair in each phase. Anagen, 80 to 90 percent. Um, Canagen, um, 1 percent, and then telogen, 9 to 19 percent. If you apply good hair care practices, like the ones you'll learn throughout this course, you can extend the anagen phase and push more follicles into the growing phase so that it's over 90% of your follicles and with more hairs in the anagen phase. Percentage of hair in each phase with good hair care practices, anagen 90%, canagen 1% and telogen 9%. Percentage of hair in each phase with bad hair care practices, anagen 80%, um, canagen 1% and telogen 19%. Bad hair care practices equals prematurely and anagen phase and push all those anagen hairs into the telogen phase. With bad hair care practices, the additive phase becomes shorter, pushing more hair into the telogen phase. When this happens, you'll see a lot of harmful, a lot of harm and your hair becomes very thin. People who suffer from dramatic hair loss have a lower percentage of hairs in the anagen phase and way more in the telogen phase. Unfortunately, we can't always control the factors that lead to less hair in the anagen phase. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. Percentage of each hair in, in each phase for chemotherapy. Anagen, 0%. Canagen, 0%. Telogen, 100%. If you don't have a medical condition, you have full control over activating as many hairs into the anagen phase. Medical conditions means you have some control. Do more of this. Anagen phase plus, plus, plus into your follicles and then going into the telogen phase. Good practices that increase the number of hairs into the anagen phase and less of this. Anagen phase plus, plus, plus follicles and then the telogen. So the telogen is going um, in the opposite direction and it's like more hairs are basically being into the telogen phase instead of the anagen phase is what I mean um, okay and good and then bad practices that inc increase the number of hairs into other phases put it goes like into canagen and telogen like I explained daily hair fall that's normal is 50 strands to 150 strands. It's about living a healthy life so that you can follow the hair growth lab goal, which is to have like 50 hairs per day. And you need to know your hair density. And so at the end of this lesson, we have our unique hair care profile with our hair genetics profile. So you have to, you know, look at this and check off, you know, your density, your thickness, your scalp, your type, your porosity prosody, sorry, your elasticity, and then um, concerns for your checklist. So like I've already completed this. Um, so the lesson is done. And I hope this was informative. I hope you found both of these lessons informative. And um, please make sure to check out my next video which is going to be module two lessons three and four and please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already for more hair growth lab videos that i'm going to be filming i'm going to try to do my best um because my schedule is very booked right now but i'll do my best like i said and yeah bye till the next video